A wave function for a particle. Consider a particle whose wave function is graphed in figure and is given by e, a times e to the minus a x squared. Capital A times e to the minus a x squared. Part A, what is the value of capital A if this wave function is normalized? So here's our wave function which decays exponentially uh, with x e to the minus x squared, a x squared. And uh, in part B, what is the expectation value of x for this particle? So the first part, we have to normalize the wave function. And we remember that the normalization condition using bracket notation is psi bra psi cat, which is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity over all space psi complex conjugate psi dx and this should be equal to 1 because the particle exists so that is our normalization condition now <clears throat> if i do this because this is a real function the complex conjugate is basically itself so I will have the square of the function, which is a capital A squared integral from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus 2ax squared because I have squared the function dx. And I call this integral i and this is basically twice the integral 2a square integral minus infinity if uh, 0 to infinity 0 to infinity e to the minus 2a x square dx so this integral is basically integral i divided by 2 and uh, why do i say this because you can see that the area under this curve from 0 to infinity and the area under this curve from minus infinity to zero is the same. So we have symmetry here. So this integral is i over 2. This integral is i over 2. So th those two areas are the same. <clears throat> so this gives me 2a squared divided by 2. The value of this integral e to the minus 2ax squared dx from zero to infinity is you can look it up from tables or you can perform the integration pi over 2a square root and that is equal to 1 so these twos will cancel and i will show you how to do this integral in a minute so we can see that the constant a is 2a divided by pi so we have to take the reciprocal of pi over 2a and it's to the power not one half but one over four because it was a squared so that's our answer uh, for this part and let's see how we perform this integral how do we get this answer now i call the integral i from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus 2a x square dx and if i consider the square of this integral i square i might as well say this is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus 2a x square plus y square dx dy why because this integral is also equal to e to the minus 2 a y square dy integrated from minus infinity to plus infinity it doesn't matter if i call it x or y so the square of this integral is basically e to the minus 2 a x square plus y square dx dy now this should remind you of r square so we can go to polar coordinates <clears throat> so uh, the square of the integral I'm looking for, i square, is the integral over all space. 
where the angle theta goes from uh, 0 to 2 pi and the radial distance r goes from 0 to infinity. So this will cover all of the xy plane. So you can see these are the polar coordinates r and theta here. Theta is defined positive in the counterclockwise direction. And if I vary the angle from 0 to 2 pi, taking r from 0 to infinity and vary the angle from 0 to 2 pi, that will cover all of the xy plane. So theta varies between 0 and 2 pi. r varies between 0 and infinity e to the minus 2a x square plus y square is r square r square now what do i substitute for dx dy dx dy is the differential area element now if you vary <clears throat> r by a small amount dr and if you vary the angle by a small amount so that you get this arc length r d theta Remember, 2 pi r is the circumference. r d theta is the arc length here. So r d theta multiplied by dr gives us this differential area. So here we have r dr d theta that is replacing dx dy. And I'm going to call u 2 a r squared so that du is 4 a r dr. There's nothing in this function that depends on angle theta, so integral from 0 to 2 pi d theta gives us 2 pi. So this is <clears throat> the integral over r from 0 to infinity, 2 pi. And for r dr, I will substitute du over 4a, so this is 2 pi divided by 4a e to the minus u du okay so r dr is du over 4a that's what i put here and d theta integral i have performed i obtained 2 pi and e to the minus 2a r square is e to the minus u so this gives me 2 pi divided by 4a minus e to the minus u minus e to the minus infinity plus e to the zero that gives me two uh, pi over 2a as the answer for i square which means i is pi divided by 2a square root all right so that's the integral i'm looking for uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity. So that means integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus 2 a x square dx is half of this. It's 1 over 2 times i. It is 1 over 2 square root of pi over 2 a. And that's the result I have used here, 1 over 2 squared pi over 2a for this integral. Okay, so this was a quick math note here. So we have to know how to perform these types of integrals. Now, part B asks me, what is the expectation value of x for this particle? Remember, expectation value using bracket notation is psi bra applied to x psi cat which is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity over all space psi complex conjugate x psi dx and this is a square integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x e to the minus 2 a x square dx because it's psi squared psi squared is a squared e to the minus 2ax squared <clears throat> and this gives me uh, a squared integral from minus infinity to 0 x e to the minus 2ax squared dx and then integral from minus 
0 to infinity, if I divide it into 2, x e to the minus 2ax squared dx. Okay, now let's call 2ax squared u. So that 4ax dx is du. So this integral will now become a squared for x dx i will substitute du over 4a so it's a squared over 4a integral from <coughs> minus infinity to 0 e to the minus u du plus integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus u du so this gives me a squared over 4a minus e to the minus u evaluated between minus infinity and 0 and minus e to the minus u evaluated between 0 and infinity. So that gives me a squared over 4a. Now if I put 0 here I will obtain minus 1 minus minus plus zero then i will have minus zero minus minus plus one so plus one and minus one will cancel and i will find that expectation value of x is zero all right and this is expected so we have a symmetric a probability distribution function symmetric around zero the where the maximum occurs so the expectation value of x should be zero so given the symmetry given the symmetry of the wave function uh, the expectation value of x equals to 0, the mean value of 0 is expected. Uh, this comes from basically the symmetry of this function around uh, 0. Okay, <clears throat> so we calculated uh, given a wave function for a particle in one dimension, uh, capital A e to the minus ax squared, the value of a. We use the normalization condition. We integrate over all possible space psi complex conjugate psi dx, probability density function dx. This should be equal to 1 if the particle exists. So it should be somewhere between minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, this is a real function. So its complex conjugate is itself. So this is a squared e to the minus 2ax squared. So that's this term dx. And that integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus 2ax squared dx is twice the integral from 0 to infinity of the same thing. Why? Because this is completely symmetric around 0. So <clears throat> if you look at psi squared, psi squared is also symmetric around 0. So it's e to the minus 2ax squared instead of ax squared. And you will have the same uh, contribution for from positive and negative x values for psi squared okay so that will give me 2a squared this integral has a value square root pi over 2a so twos will cancel i find that a is 2a over pi to the power one fourth one fourth how do i solve this integral the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus 2ax squared dx i call it i then i look at i squared because it's E, integral e to the minus 2ay squared dy gives me the same answer. So that's integration over the xy plane, e to the minus 2ax squared plus y squared dx dy. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So that's basically going to polar coordinates. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And tangent theta is y divided by x. So that's basically uh, performing this uh, transformation. This is y divided by x, or theta is tangent inverse y over x.
Uh, so the area element dx dy here is r dr d theta. dr is this part, r d theta is this part, so this is like a rectangle. So that's r dr d theta. If you vary the angle between 0 and 2 pi and r between 0 and infinity, you cover all of the xy plane. So that's what we do here. Uh, integral from 0 to 2 pi, integral from 0 to infinity, e to the minus 2a r squared, dx dy is replaced with r dr d theta. And if I call 2a r squared u, du is 4a r dr. This is now a simple integral. The integral over theta just gives me 2 pi. This is integral of e to the minus u du, which is minus e to the minus u. At infinity, this gives me uh, minus e to the minus infinity, which is 0. And then here I have minus minus plus e to 0, which is 1. So 2 pi over 4a or pi over 2a. So the integral I'm looking for is square root of this, square root of pi over 2a. <clears throat> so integral from 0 to infinity is half of this answer, which is 1 half square root pi over 2a. That's the answer we have used here. As for the expectation value of x, we have to integrate from minus infinity to plus infinity, complex conjugate of the wave function, x wave function dx. And this is now a very simple integral. 2ax squared is u, 4ax dx is du. Uh, so we replace x dx with du over 4a, uh, and a squared remains. So that's integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, <clears throat> e to the minus u du. That actually gives me zero. And given the symmetry of the wave function around zero, psi square will be also uh, centered around zero. Uh, the expectation value of zero is uh, basically reasonable.